Hello, welcome back or welcome here if you're new to my channel. I got a request uh, quite a long time ago by a subscriber named John Roberts. John Roberts to make a soft spoken video where I will be going through the auction house in World of Warcraft. Just looking at different items and describing what they're used for. I haven't had the energy to make um, gameplay videos or video requests for quite a while now. But I got some energy to do it. So I'm actually logged in on my alt character. My I haven't been bothered to level up or do anything with since I think the last time I played this character was way back in Cataclysm Cataclysm, Cataclysm, Cataclysm But today I thought I would go through the auction house out in Tanaris in Gadgetstan since it's one of my favorite places Tanaris is this big desert that reminds me a lot of the vibes from the Star Wars movies the first three ones and there's a lot of goblins and you know I love goblins so to enter the action house just walk down the stairs this way back in the classic servers used to be one out of two neutral auction houses I might be completely wrong now but I think the only neutral auction houses used to be run by the goblins in Booty Bay and here in Gajisan in Tanaris if I'm not remembering it wrong, the goblins did not have a neutral auction house in winter spring since they had this um, little goblin hut over there. But it's such a cool place. Um, it was, I believe, in Cataclysm. They removed the neutral auction houses uh, since this used to be a place where both the Horde and the Alliance could trade and sell items uh, between the different factions. So a lot of the prices would be bumped up here. It would cost a lot more and you could make some money. the neutral auction house as well as you could find some pretty rare items I used to like this place a lot back in the day you can see it this is my night elf rogue and as you can see it has the cataclysm gear uh, I think this was from the throne of the wind I love this set. I remember this is why I started re-rolling as a rogue. Just because of this set. It's not quite traditional for a rogue set. But I think it's really good. And then I have the dagger from the rework of Zulgrub. But let's go to the auctioneer Beardo, the goblin since they removed the neutral auction house this just became a regular that you can trade with your own faction I think until now I'm quite sure the auction houses are cross server and cross factions I think that was a recent addition since they updated the auction house now at the end of Shadowlands As 
can see here on the side are the different um, types of options we have weapons, armor, containers, gems, item enchantments, consumables, cliffs, trade goods, recipes, profession equipments, battle pets, quest items, miscellaneous, I think that's such a hard word since on Swedish, and the recent addition of WoW tokens. Uh, the weapons are quite easy to explain. Uh, it's different weapons for your characters. We have one-handed, two-handed, range, and miscellaneous. I am not pronouncing that right. I'm butchering it, I know. And then it's so many more categories. One-handed axes, one-handed maces, and so on. Let's look for some war cliffs. Here you can see the pricing of the item, the item level, and how many are available. Before they did this update, you would not see how many were available, but they would be in a long list. Uh, so you would have to scroll and scroll and scroll and look through the different uh, pages of the auction house and it could be really hard to find the items you were looking for or searching for anything good do we have something nice? Rithria's Dread Cliff it was quite cute but I think this is supposed to be a Wenthyr Covenant inspired item It's nothing that I'm into Here we have some Is this a really rare item or is someone just selling it for a lot? I don't know It's almost up at the gold cap I don't think you can auction anything for more than 10 million gold right now this is the slither shell war glaive of the peerless but it looks quite horrible I uh, can't remember the name of this it's a clam animal they look quite horrible do we have any nice daggers? carving knife, warp dagger Tiger pain. Let's look if we can find something nice. I actually don't have a lot of transmogs for this character or any leather wearing claws, anyways. I've been mainly playing my priest now for many, many years, and I just can't be bothered to start maining a new character. Do we have any? Let's go to the bottom. Oh, this is really nice. The black venom blade. If I'm not entirely wrong. Um, I used to be gold farming a lot. And farming for pretty rare items. And you can see the price of this black. Venom blade is 5,750,000 gold. Uh, this one comes from the low level um, pick, pick locking boxes from the mobs in Duskwood, I think. And it has a very, 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 very low drop chance. So, this is a really rare item. But um, it's quite hard nowadays to sell re really rare items on the action house um, As you can see in my bag This is some items I still have from when I used the gold farm on this character a lot I have the 
Mac Builders overalls. This is a low drop chance um, item from Nomergan. It's a uh, overall. You can see the clothing. It looks way cuter on a no. And this used to be around a hundred thousand gold, and I have not gotten it sold for years now. I have the formula and shown shield lesser parry and the pattern star belt and both these are recipes for your profession that are really really rare and I have not gotten them sold as well so it's quite a shame I think it's hard to find a buyer in World of Warcraft now let's see here we have some fishing and there's no items found too bad I don't think they have done a lot with the fishing profession same as legion that was really fun content other diamond tipped cane this is a white item uh, but it's really really cute to have on a bank alt since it has this glowing gem on top of the staff armor are pretty self explained as well we have plate mail, leather cloth misc and cosmetics since this character is a rogue my main or my only gear I should be wearing is leather here we have some rune carving in the blue text and it's just this uh, regions for the Shadowlands features um, I, I can't be bothered about that can we see if we find some nice shoulder armor spoilers of the unseen it's quite cute actually it definitely brings out that classic feel of the game we have a lot glyphed epaulets no it looks like a cloth armor do we have any rare items troll woven spoilers looks like a not as good version of the Manoroth shoulders with the tusks of Manoroth that you can get from Garrosh Hellscream Fell Flame Inferno shoulder pads oh that would be really cool for a monk character I really like that but it's 357,000 gold but that would be really nice for a monk I think let's see the cosmetics are a bit more fun it's some um, clothes that are used for a feeling I guess look here's a pirate hat green winter clothes let's reset I've been thinking this is the red winter clothes I've been thinking about making this outfit now around Christmas um, I've been talking about making a Blood Elf roleplay video for quite some time now and I've been starting to work on it now and I thought it would be quite fitting to make a Christmas roleplay as well from the Feast of Winter Wheel since this is such a good outfit and I think it would be a really fun cute video to make Rhinestone Sunglasses Necromancer's Mantle that was not as fun Sandtail's Drape there is some really nice cosmetics in the game I think Red Noggin Cattle 
actually quite cute to the winter's dress, I think. Um, let's close that. The containers are different bags for the game. We have the cooking bag, regent bag, bag, tackle box for your fishing lures, inscription bag, leather working bag, gem bag, mining bag, herb bag, enchanting bag, and engineering bag. Now in um, Dragonflight, they're gonna bring back um, that you can use equip region bag. So your um, profession items will just not go in the main bag any longer, and I think that's really good to bring that back. Um, I usually used to do um, um, mining and herbalism is for the, I think it's quite relaxing to farm gold and fishing and use the, use the calm stuff in game. Let's just look at the bags, these are the different bags with bag slots. You can see this is a Melithar's supply. And it's a six slot pack, small silk pack, it's a ten slot pack, and it goes up to the ebon shadow pack, and it's a twenty slot pack, and the portable hole is a twenty four slot pack. Here's the illusionary with twenty six slots. Um, here's nice, the biggest one is also quite cheap. Here's a 32 slot pack so you can find some good stuff here on the auction house if you have the gold I think it's quite good to have a big bag if you're starting to play a game you should invest in buying some bigger bags the gems sometimes when you get gear you get gear that have a socket and that means you can put a gem in it to boost your um, stats and we had an artifact relic that is just an expansion feature and this is the different specs you can uh, gem in to get more power in we have intellect, agility, strength, stamina, critical strike, mastery, haste, versatility, other and multiple stats and as a rogue I go for agility then we have from the most inexpensive to the most expensive but as you can see it does not have a lot of stat using gems used to be way more popular many years ago but I don't think it has been quite as good the recent expansions item enhancement this is a long list, shields and offense, misc, waist, hands, wrist, chest, neck, head, two-handed weapon, shoulder, cloak, weapon, finger, legs and feet. Let's look at the feet, who doesn't like feet? Here we have different enchantments. You make this when you have the profession of inscription. And here we can see the cheapest one. And hunt boots, boots, minor stamina. Use permanently enchant boots to increase stamina by one. Cannot be applied to items higher than level 50. So these are different enhancements that you can put on all of your armor to get um, increased levels in either your uh, needed agility or intellect or strength or spirit or any of that your preferred is what you per prefer And consumables. 
Vantun's runes. This is again some uh, from the Shadowlands, I think. I just need to look that up. Mm, this is also from uh, Anthoros, the Burning Throne from Legion. I think this is for uh, taking on different bosses, right? Yeah. This is when you attend different raids, either new or old ones, to get a bit of a boost. But then we have food and drink, flask, explosives and devices, potion, bandage, elixir and other. Here in food and drink you can find different meals and for cooking to get either mana or health back when you're leveling up but since that's not needed any longer I think most classes have a self heal this is not as much used as way back in classic I know now when I have played my warrior in the classic server I always have to have a lot of food on my character to regain health but some of these things can be really good to if you're raiding a lot or maybe pvping or something like that flasks these are made with alchemy and it's different potions that can increase agility for example or give you a buff that is good for pvp explosives and devices are made from engineering i remember when i started playing at this rogue character years ago i leveled up my engineering since it was so good for pvp back then and i quite missed that uh, we have some explosive sheep different bombs I guess and they could be quite nice to use in PvP but they have been nerfed a lot now potions here's some lesser mana potion healing potions used to regain health or mana bandage um, these used to be made with the profession or not the main but secondary profession of the uh, first aid but now it's the tailors who can make these i quite miss um, even though it was just grindy and you would not get anything from it but it was quite nice to level up your first aid it was just a fun thing and made it useful to hoard some cloth while leveling elixirs are also made by the alchemists and other what might that be shiny bubble it's for fishing we have some scrolls it's also just buffs i guess glyphs here we have the glyphs for the different classes we have mage warlock druid death knight monk shaman demon hunter priest rogue hunter, paladin and warrior I would have to go for the rogue glyphs on this character there is not a lot of them I think they removed some we have the glyph of burnout use your sprint leaves a smoke trail in your wake glyph of flashbang switch out your smoke for a flashbang glyph of blackout use a good old pin saps target used as well glyph of disguise when you pickpocket a humanoid enemy you also copy their appearance for five minutes your disguise will unravel upon entering combat these things used to be way more useful they would uh, boost different abilities but now they're just um, different cosmetics in the game it's quite a shame. Trade codes. Here we can see all the different stuff. Uh, there are four different professions. We have cloth, leather, 
metal and stone cooking herb enchanting inscription jewel crafting parts elemental finishing regions optional regions and other the cloth will this be the cloth you get from mobs that robs and it's used by tailors to craft items we have some bolt of linen cloth wind wool cloth thick spider silk nylon thread rune thread ice web spider silk silk and pearl fiber spell cloth there's a lot of examples but if you're a tailor you will use these to create cloth armor while weaving or sewing the letter is skinned by characters with the skinning profession so after you have killed an animal mob you can skin them and get Shimmer scale, for an example, rugged hide, light leather, raw beast hide, thick hide. You can get the light hide, exotic leather, cured thick hide, and with these, then you have to have leather, leather working. And you can get some leather armor, metal and stone. This is from mining. And when you are mining, you go mining ores. And you will get some just basic rocks like rough stone or coarse stone. But you will also sometimes find a gem or the other metals like copper. And then you will receive the copper ore, which you have to melt into a copper bar, for example. I used to farm a lot, a lot, a lot of... If we can find it here, it's still quite rare to see people farming it here at the Eternium ore. In the old school Nagrant from Outland. Um, I, if I don't remember wrong, you use this for the first helicopter mount you can make with engineering. Cooking is used different meats and cooking supplies. Like the wild fowl egg, mystery meat, crocolisky tail, creeping crawler meat, lost soul. This is also from fishing, powdered sugar, stringy loins, scorpion stinger. There's a lot, a lot, a lot. You can see the items. 44,000 of the cestic meat. So there's a lot of auction for cooking. As you can see. Herbs. This used to be my favorite thing to do, farming herbalism in the Legion expansion. I farmed a lot of the... What were the names of them? I earned a lot of gold, I remember. Sick, if I can find them. Not the ethereal, no. What were the names? I can't almost remember. No, I can't remember. But you know the red flowers from the Legion expansion that would uh, sell for a lot of gold from Suramar. Here's the golden lotus. This was a really good item in Mist of Pandaria. Because with the golden lotus were, that were a rare flower to find, or a rare herb, so you could make their lucky potion, which made um, mobs drop more items and gold and the 
that was really good for gold farming. I wish they would bring that back. Enchanting, it's just these items you get when you're an enchanter and you disenchant, which makes means you break apart an item to get the material. So there's a lot of soul dust and light illusion dust, strange dust. And then you would get some small brilliant shards, for example. So when you would destroy a piece of armor, you would get different of these regions. And inscriptions, this is when you break apart the herbs, you would mill them. So you would use five of a herb and mill them down and you would get different pigments, like shadow pigment, ink of dreams, maroon ink and so on and these you could use them with some paper to make scrolls and inscription items you will crafting here's just some different gems that you find while mining citrine, bloodstone, rogue stone, jade Tiger Opal, Dark Jade, Queen's Opal. I don't think Jewel Crafting has been pretty good for quite some time now, as I mentioned. Here we see some Soul Derite. I think this is some really old items that might not be in the game anymore. Hence why they were grey in color and might be quite expensive. We have some different regions like light feather, porous polishing abrasive, insulted wiring, engineer's ink. This is different items like feathers for inscription and wooden stock and rough blasting powder for engineering. And these are UL crafters. You you will you will rose setting, that's quite hard to say. But these are for the different professions. You could usually buy them, buy vendors, or you can make them with your profession. Elemental. Here's a um, different elemental course that you can use for some professions. And this is from killing elemental mobs and then... Um, Combining the items into bigger items. Nether Vortex, Elemental Air, Primal Earth, Mode of Life, Volatile Air, Corthrite Crystal, and so on. Finishing Regions. No items found. I don't know what that is. And Optional Regions. These might be for the new profession since the professions will be upgraded in Dragonflight Relic of the Past provides the following property set the item to level to 19 and the requirement to level 14 oh this might be good for uh, Twink characters, I think. Here's the... Yeah, this might be used to make old items better for longer, I think. Might be, might be. And other, let's see. Here's just uh, things you can buy from the most vendors like crystal vial, mild spices, unbroken claw. This is just some random items. What's the most expensive one? The most expensive one is the savaged burnished essence. I wonder, this is 2,597,000 gold. I wonder if this is something that is no longer in the game or if someone just hoping
hoping that someone will buy it for the high price recipes here is what I was talking about I have a lot of recipes when you learn them you will know how to make a pattern or how to make a weapon or a recipe for the different professions we have inscription jewel crafting enchanting tailoring blacksmithing engineering alchemy leather working cooking first aid fishing and book since i have i will show you i have a really expensive tailoring one if i can find it since i have the pattern star belt if we can see what it goes for here we can see it's one up on the auction house only one of them and i have a second and it's up for 151,000 gold it's not even a third of a wow token but hey, it's some good gold the cooking recipes, most of the, these you would get from rare drops or from quests which required you to grab some meat for the low level ones it's quite nice to see most of the really expensive ones are really hard to get or no longer in game first aid as you can see they removed first aid but you can see in the red text requires outland tailoring they put all the first aid um, re recipes into the tailoring ones category this is a manual for the heavy nether weave bandage and it goes for roughly 150,000 gold I don't think there are any fishing recipes no, no items found and books this used to be a lot of the old ones like Libram or Fresilians dark runes skitter across the surface this used to be like little hints that you could find quests and quest givers to learn different recipes and stuff like that back in classic and I think that was so nice to have this mystery in the game book of glyph mastery tome of polymorph turtle and this book will make your you have to be a mage but it will make your polymorph and uh, your polymorph enemies into turtles instead of sheep same with here polar bear, polar bear cup ancient tomb of teleport Dalaran I think this is a portal to the old Dalaran which people will fall down into and you die here we have some profession equipment again inscription, tailoring, leather working, jewel crafting, alchemy, blacksmithing, engineering, enchanting, mining, herbalism, skinny, cooking and fishing and under fishing well tools and accessories just let's look that up and it's just different fishing poles the regular fishing pole strong fishing pole and big iron fishing pole but that's just you know for inscription they have the virtuoso inking set it's nothing really it's nothing special but I hope they will update that in dragonfly here we have some battle these are the pets that drop from either bosses, rare spawns, or rare drops, or that you can tame in the wild. And we have the different categories Humanoid, Dragon King, Flying, Undead, Critter, Magic, Elemental, Beast, Aquatic, Mechanical, and Companion Pets. The 
companion pets used to be drop right rare drops i think spring rabbit's foot this is from the noble garden event and left shark is from fishing there's a lot of pets i think um, even though I love the Mist of Pandaria expansion, I think before they added Battle Pets, it used to be way f more enjoyable for me to farm pets, since there didn't used to be so many, and it was like the pets were rarer, rarer you know, to have, and so that would be the nice part about having them, not that you could use tame them in the wild, but that you would have to farm to get them. Let's see what is the most expensive. Flawless amethyst bubble worm. Captured firefly. Oh. The captured fly firefly is from a Sangar Marsh. And I used to farm for this so long, but I just gave up. I never got it. And it's 242,000 gold. Nice quest items. These are just items that you need for different quests. So, in, if you have the gold, not to farm them, you can just buy them and turn in your quests. Enduring mojo. Oh, these mojo things now when I have played through Sundrak in Wrath Classic. That were horrible and I don't even think it was in Sildrak even no it had to be in Grizzly Hills the trolls um, intro quests before entering Sildrak oh no that was so no 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 that was not nice Sun Fury Signet Irritated Crystal Shard Mark of Sergeras, Bug Lord Tendril, Ice Distal Echo, Mark of Kill Jaden, Moral Grain, Arcane Tome. I remember a lot of this. It brings a lot of a lot of joy. A lot of these ears, the scryers in the Sears library would be interested in this item. So a lot of it this even if it says quest items um, it's for um, reputation as well and as you might know I love 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 reputation farming Arakoa feather fell ornament time lost scroll Ushugun crystal fragment glow cap there's a lot of frozen mojo mage's deck this item begins a quest these used to be the ones from the old school dark moon fair and when you would collect a whole deck of rare cards you could combine them to a quest which would give you a really good um, a really good trinket use miscellaneous we have junk regent holiday other mount and mount equipment let's see the junk this is just a lot of gray items some blues some greens but mostly just gray items i don't know why people sell them i don't think someone actually buys them Regions. In the regions, we have some fish oil, salted dog crackers, corpse dust. Just as you can see, used gray items. I don't know. I think this just has no other place to go in. Holiday. Holiday spices, preserved holly. A lot of these things, or at least these first two ones, are for the from the winter's wheel holiday that is coming up soon. I'm really looking forward to Christmas this year. So it's um oh look here's the preserved holly. Use your mount will be more festive. 
I think this turns your mount into looking like a reindeer. So that's nice. Some empty wrapper to make Christmas gifts in game. We have some other adorable ascended costume. Use dress up your perky pug. This is for a, a costume for a companion pet. Same with the pink big pink bow. So it's just some temporary cosmetics, I think, most of these. The mounts are quite nice. I don't think I have most of them. I don't even bother buying them all from the auction house. But here we can see some different mounts. Let's see if there's some TCG from the trading card game. Loot cards now up. The woolly white rhino it almost sells for 5 million gold teaches you how to summon this mount this mount is from the TCG cards it's from uh, is it ice crown breath gate no ice crown scrooge war those packs used to Ice crown packs used to have, I think it was two or three different ones, expansions, packs that you could buy cards from. But this is a TCG card and the X51 Nether Rocket Extreme. This is also, but I can't remember what the TCG card expansion these were from, unfortunately. This is way more inexpensive than the other one quite cute but it's not the big love rocket but I know they changed the name of that mount um, since it had a lot of sexual undertones but it's a really nice pink rocket mount that you can get from love is in the air but that's quite nice to see here's some of the new mount equipments and it's just to give your mount a buff or some ability like here you cannot get dazed and dismounted here's some increase your mount's ground speed saddle shoe inflatable mount shoes I have I think it's this one since I want, want water walking on my mounts and I miss that it would be solely for the water strider we have the wow token it's not that high now I I almost had a gold cap on my character but I bought everything up with uh, I bought up the gold for wow tokens so I didn't have to pay while I didn't have a lot of money during the pandemic so that was quite nice and here's the tab if you want to sell anything and your own auctions and I have nothing up right now but thank you so much for watching this video this was a long overdue request and I want to thank you John Roberts again for leaving this request this was a really fun video to do I hope you enjoy bye 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 bye